Let's watch a video. The girl is walking home from the shop. The children are playing with a torch in their room. There is a shadow when the girl walks outside in the afternoon. There are also shadows when the children play in their room. When and where can you see shadows? Discuss this with your friends. Then click on the pictures. When there is light, we can see the shadows of objects. The shadow of the girl can be seen because of the light from the sun. The shadow of the children's hands can be seen because of the light from the torch. Shadows can be seen both indoors and outdoors as long as there is light. When there is not enough light, shadows cannot be seen. Do you know how shadows are formed? Think about this. We have learned that objects that are made of transparent materials allow most of the light to pass through them. Objects that are made of translucent materials allow only some of the light to pass through them. Objects that are made of opaque materials do not allow any light to pass through them. Look at the objects again. Which of these objects form a shadow? Click on the correct objects. Then click Done. Correct. This object is made of transparent material. This object does not form a shadow because it allows most of the light to pass through. This object is made of translucent materials. This object forms a shadow. This is because it allows only some light to pass through. That means the object blocks the path of light partially. This object is made of opaque materials. This object forms a shadow. This is because it does not allow any light to pass through. That means the object blocks the path of light completely. A shadow is formed where the translucent or opaque objects block the path of light. Now let's watch some more videos. The light travels from the torch to the wall. This cup is an opaque object. It does not allow the light to pass through it. The cup blocks the light completely. The shadow of the cup is formed on the wall behind the cup. The light travels from the torch to the wall. This cup is a translucent object. It allows only some of the light to pass through it. The cup blocks the light partially. The shadow of the cup is formed on the wall behind the cup. A shadow is formed when light from a light source is blocked by an opaque or translucent object. This happens because light travels in a certain way. What can you say about how light travels? Discuss this with your friends.
do an activity to find out how light travels. You are given a rubber hose and a candle. Light up the candle and place it on a table. Be careful with the candle and make sure you place it on a steady surface. Hold the rubber hose straight in front of the candlelight like this. Look at the candlelight through one end of the rubber hose. Can you see the candlelight? Now bend the rubber hose like this. Make sure one end of the hose is still in front of the candlelight. Look through the rubber hose again. Can you see the candlelight? What can we conclude from this activity? Discuss this with your friends. Then click check to see. We are able to see the candlelight through a straight rubber hose. Light can pass through the straight rubber hose. However, we cannot see the candlelight through a bent rubber hose. Light cannot pass through the bent rubber hose. This shows that light travels in a straight line. Let's try another activity to show that light travels in a straight line. Here is a lit torch and three square cards of the same size. Each card has a pinhole in the middle of it. Arrange the three cards so that you can see the light from the torch. Drag the cards to arrange them. Click Next when you have finished. How did you arrange the cards to see the light from the torch? Key in the answer in the space provided. Then click Done. Oops! This activity also shows that light travels in a straight line. Try to think of other examples that show that light travels in a straight line. Discuss this with your friends. Then click on each picture to see more examples. Car headlights help drivers to drive in the dark at night. The beams of lights shining from the headlights clearly show that light travels in straight lines. A type of spotlight called a follow-on spot is sometimes used in theatres and performances. The light is used to highlight the performer on stage. The light shining on the performer clearly shows that light travels in a straight line.